Did you know pancreatic cancer has the lowest survival rate of all major cancers? But here's what most people miss why it's so deadly. I'm Dr. James from Pancreatic Cancer Warriors, and today, we're breaking down the survival stats you must understand. Before we dive in, I want you to know something crucial. By the end of this video, I'll share one critical factor that doubles survival. So stick around, because this information could save a life. Let's start with the basics. The five-year survival rate for pancreatic cancer is just 12%. That's a scary number, right? But hold on, because there's more to the story. Stage matters, and it matters a lot. When we catch pancreatic cancer early, when it's still localized, the survival rate jumps to 44%. That's hope, right there. So why is this cancer so deadly? Why do we see such low survival rates? The answer lies in its sneaky nature. Pancreatic cancer is often called the silent killer, and for good reason. It doesn't usually cause symptoms in its early stages. By the time most people notice something's wrong, the cancer has often spread. Imagine your body is a busy city. The pancreas is like a hidden alleyway where trouble can brew unnoticed. By the time the alarm is raised, the troublemakers have already spread to the main streets or, in our case, to other organs like the liver. This is why nearly half of all pancreatic cancer cases are diagnosed at stage 4, when it's already spread beyond the pancreas. But don't lose hope. Knowledge is power, and understanding the factors that affect survival can help us fight back. Let's break them down. First up is age. Like many cancers, pancreatic cancer is more common in older adults. The average age at diagnosis is 70, but here's the thing younger patients often have better outcomes. Why? They're usually healthier overall and can tolerate more aggressive treatments. Next, let's talk about tumor location. The pancreas isn't just one uniform organ. It has a head, body, and tail. Tumors in the head of the pancreas are often caught earlier because they can block the bile duct, causing noticeable symptoms like jaundice. This earlier detection can lead to better outcomes. But the real game changer, early detection. This is where you can take action. Knowing the symptoms and risk factors can make all the difference. Have you ever had unexplained back pain or sudden weight loss? These could be signs. And if you have a family history of pancreatic cancer or certain genetic syndromes, you might need earlier screening. Now, I promised you hope, and here it is. New treatments are changing the game. Immunotherapy, for instance, is like training your body's own army to fight cancer cells. It's showing promising results in some pancreatic cancer patients. Then there's targeted therapy, which goes after specific mutations in cancer cells. These treatments are giving patients more options and better quality of life. But wait, there's more. Remember that critical factor I mentioned at the beginning? Here it is. Getting treatment at a high volume center or hospital that treats a lot of pancreatic cancer Cassis can double your chances of survival. These centers have more experience, access to clinical trials, and multidisciplinary teams that work together to give you the best care possible. Now, I know we've covered a lot of ground here. Pancreatic cancer is a tough opponent, but we're not fighting alone. Every day, researchers are working on new treatments and better ways to detect this disease early. And you know what? Their work is paying off. Survival rates have been slowly but steadily improving over the past few decades. Let's recap what we've learned. 1. Pancreatic cancer has a low overall survival rate, but early detection can dramatically improve your odds. 2. It's often diagnosed late because of its silent nature. 3. Age, tumor location, and early detection are key factors in survival. 4. New treatments like immunotherapy are offering new hope. 5. Getting treated at a high volume center can double your chances of survival. But here's the thing, knowledge is only powerful if we use it. So what can you do with this information? First, know your risk factors. If you have a family history of pancreatic cancer or certain genetic syndromes, talk to your doctor about screening options. They might recommend genetic testing or regular imaging studies. Second, be aware of the symptoms. Unexplained weight loss, abdominal or back pain, Loss of appetite or sudden onset diabetes in someone over 50 could all be signs. If you notice these, don't panic, but do see your doctor. Third, if you or a loved one is diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, seek out a Hervalium treatment center. Remember, this single decision could double your chances of survival. And finally, support research. Whether it's participating in a clinical trial, donating to research organizations, or simply spreading awareness, Every bit helps in the fight against this disease. Now, 
I want to address something important. If you're watching this because you or a loved one has been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, I know this information might feel overwhelming. You might be scared, angry, or feeling hopeless. Those feelings are valid, but I want you to know that you're not alone in this fight. There are support groups, both online and in person, where you can connect with others going through the same journey. These communities can be an incredible source of strength and practical advice. Don't hesitate to reach out to you. Don't have to face this alone. And for those of you who are here to learn and be prepared, thank you. Your awareness and willingness to educate yourself could save a life one day. Maybe your own. Maybe your loved ones. Or maybe your strangers because you shared this information. Before we wrap up, I want to share a story that always reminds me why this fight is so important. A few years ago, I met a patient named Sarah. She was diagnosed with stage 3 pancreatic cancer, and the outlook seemed grim. But Sarah was a fighter. She sought out a high-volume treatment center, participated in a clinical trial for a new immunotherapy drug, and today, five years later, she's cancer-free and living life to the fullest. Sarah's story isn't just about beating the odds, it's about the power of knowledge, the importance of never giving up hope, and the incredible progress we're making in the fight against pancreatic cancer. So, what's the takeaway from all this? Yes, pancreatic cancer is a formidable foe, but we're not helpless against it. With early detection, advanced treatments, and the right care team, we can improve outcomes. Every day, we're making progress. Every day, we're giving patients like Sarah more hope. If you found this information helpful, please consider subscribing to Pancreatic Cancer Warriors. We're fighting this battle together, and the more informed we are, the stronger our fight becomes. Share this video with someone who needs this information. You never know whose life you might change. Remember, knowledge is power. And in the fight against pancreatic cancer, it might just be the most powerful weapon we have. So stay informed, stay vigilant, and never lose hope. Together, we can change the story of pancreatic cancer. Thank you for watching, and remember we're all warriors in this fight. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Goodbye.